All right, part four. This is the double displacement reaction, okay? So we're going to be reacting the potassium dichromate, okay? And the lead nitrate. So just in the bottle alone, what does this look like? Plain old what? Water. Water, right? So it's what would you describe it as? Clear, transparent. Okay, so make sure you guys are writing this down. Clear, transparent is the lead nitrate, all right? In the bottle here, what does this look like? Yellow. Yellow. Clear. Right? So these two are aqueous, okay? Both of them. So we're going to react them together. So I'm going to grab a test tube. And I'm going to first put the lead nitrate in, okay? So, I'm going to put equal amounts roughly of each one. This up, so that, that way it will I'm going to put enough in so you can see the full reaction. Okay, so make sure you're watching next because I want to add the um, potassium dichromate in and then you guys can see what's happening because time is going to be very important in this reaction. You want to see how fast it happens, okay? All right, make sure everybody can see. Yeah. You ready? Clear beforehand. We add heat, Ready? What does that mean? Now look at that. Kind of reaction. What happened there? What's that look like now? Uh, God. Endo. Non clear. And, and non clear. clear. <laughs> so yeah, it's more cloudy, what? chunky. Adding There's sort of something like forming that's not a liquid necessarily, right? Hence that little. It's still yellow though. There in here. You sort of see that like yeah. layering happening. Yeah. It's sort of like that cloudy mixture, and then it's real like thick at the bottom. So would you say a precipitate formed? There's that solid sort of congealing there? Okay, so I think that's your part two, right? So you say yes, and how fast would you say that happened? As soon as I put it in, does anything happen? Yeah, so it would happen instantly, right? Instantaneously. It didn't take 10 seconds, and it would just boom, happen right away. All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it in the centrifuge over here. But before I do that, I wanna make sure I have an equal amount of water in another test tube so the centrifuge doesn't get off balance because it'll almost be like a washing machine sometimes. If I only put one test tube in, it's gonna shake and rattle and fall off the table. So we don't want that. So I'm gonna put an equal amount of this distilled water in the other test tube to equalize the centrifuge when it's in motion. Okay, so that's what it's like before and take note. And I'm going to put them both in right across from each other. And I'm going to let this go for about two minutes. Alright, so as that's going, we're going to do our reaction in part one. Okay. So what do we start off with? We started off with yep, lead nitrate. So PBNO3 in the 2 is a subscript. And that's what I say, aqueous, right? So how do you write aqueous in the reaction? AQ, right? So put that next to the, yep, good. Plus potassium dichromate, which is also aqueous. So another AQ next to that, right? Sound good so far? Right. All right, so then you write your reaction arrow in the direction of your reaction. Good. Okay, so since this is a double displacement reaction, this whole compound here are two different elements in each one. You have the, the lead, and then you have your other nitrate here and then you have your potassium and your dichromate okay so then each other element is going to grab onto a friend almost your lead's going to grab onto that dichromate and your potassium is going to uh, grab onto that nitrate so they're going to grab a friend so you're going to have a resulting KNO3 so you're going to have potassium nitrate and then that's going to be aqueous it's still going to be that liquid Plus, what do you have left? Lead your lead dichromate, right? So you're going to have PB and then CRO4. And that's going to be, like we said, a solid, right? Because you said there's a precipitate, so that's going to be a solid. So how do you write that? S. Now, what's the last thing you do with the reaction? Make sure it's balanced, right? So make sure everything is right. Look, you have two potassiums here. How many do you have on that side? Only one, right? Two there. Is everything else balanced? PV. PV there. Looks good. All right. And we'll wait for that to be done. We'll just see the result for that. Give all your observations down in the bottom there. Yeah. Okay. So after that precipitate formed, you had that clear to that cloudy mixture. So now that once this is done here.